Hello and thank you for watching. This is STSC back again with LEGO Transformers Jighead. Now Jighead is meant to be a micro sub, not the kind that a human could fit in, but rather a kind of aquatic drone. So the clear dome here isn't a cockpit, it's actually where the camera would be. I didn't base this mode off of any particular sub, and honestly I don't think there is a real life submarine that looks quite like this. But I did try and draw a few design cues from existing submarines. For example, a lot of subs have the twin air tanks, and a lot of them will have a cage around any glass so as to protect it. Turning him around, you'll see he has twin turbines as a means of propulsion. And, of course, he has a pair of arms for doing, well, whatever it is submarines do. Maybe he's harvesting minerals, maybe he's grabbing some sea life. Who really knows? But it is on a rotation joint here, and then on a bit of a double hinge, and then the hand can also rotate. So, a fair bit of articulation. Admittedly, it doesn't have great range, like... Uh, he can't reach in front of himself all that well, but I think it looks cool, and really, that's what matters. For size comparison, here we have him with a minifigure, and with Watcher, who doesn't quite fit in frame. There you go. Though why you'd put a submarine next to a traffic light, uh, well, who knows. And that's all there is to say about this mode, so now it's time to transform. And here we have Jighead in his robot mode. And I have to say, I love it. Part of the fun of designing your own Transformers is that the robot modes don't have to be conventional. You can have a Transformer that's robot mode as an animal, or in this case, you can have a Transformer with gigantic fishing hooks for hands. Now the hooks are actually where he gets his name. A Jighead is a kind of fishing hook. They're named after the large jig at the base of the hook. Now I'm pretty sure on the real hook, the jig is meant to be a weight, which of course wouldn't really make sense here since those jigs are air tanks, which are buoyant. But functionality aside, I thought the similarity was cool, so I named him it. Of course, the other main feature you'll notice is that he's got a kind of Mysterio-style fishbowl head, which of course evokes the look of a kind of deep-sea diver. I also like how the turbines look on his feet. The shape of the toe kind of reminds me of the big boots on old-timey scuba gear. As far as articulation is concerned, you're not really going to get much out of this guy. Technically, the head is on a swivel, but considering it looks the same all the way around, uh, it's not very useful. Then at the arms, he can go up and down. Butterfly. He has a rotation at the elbow. Kind of a bend at the elbow. And unfortunately, no forward and backward at the shoulder. Continuing the trend, unfortunately there's no forward and backward at the hip. He does kind of have a knee, 
and a ankle tilt, but you're not going to get much use out of them, considering that, well, this can't move forward. For a size comparison, here we have Jig Head with a minifigure. And I think that's a pretty cool scale, so I would definitely consider this guy to be in minifigure scale. And with Watcher. Well, that's all there is to say about Jig Head, so I'll see you next time.